Hello students how are you all hope you all are doing good welcome to our maths class so students today we are going to learn standard 2 maths chapter number 13 patterns students do you know what is the meaning of patterns yes patterns are created when figures shapes objects etc are arranged in a particular order and repeated over and over again it is called a patterns for example if any shape or any object or any figure it is repeating again and again in a same order it is called a pattern observe the pattern shown below we see many such patterns in our surrounding now students see the patterns it is given below we have to observe it and we have to see the same pattern it is continued it is called a pattern in the second picture also you may see the pattern the same order it is continued again and again so it is called a pattern so students see in the first picture you may see the small plants in the picture yes the first plant is having the four leaves the second plant is having three again four leaves again three leaves so it is called a pattern again and again repeating in the second picture again you see the same pattern it is repeating again and again so this is called a pattern so students in the third and in the fourth picture you will see the same pattern again and again it is repeating it is called a pattern and these patterns we may see in our surrounding daily for example you may also see this pattern on your shirts pants or sari or garlands which we are using every day in our day to day life you can also see your father's shirt yes on that some square or some design must be there it must be repeating again and again or on your mama's sari you must be saying that the design is again and again repeating in the garland you must see the flower the flower color different different color flowers it is repeating again and again this all thing which are repeating again and again in a sequence or in a order it is called a pattern now students let's see some more examples now see in the picture in the first box it is given square then circle then triangle again it is repeated square circle triangle and again it is repeated square circle triangle this is called a pattern now students see the picture in the apples of numbers are given first is 2 then 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 how we got this yes this is a correct order but how we got this let's see yes by adding 2 after every number we got the correct order see after 2 by adding 2 we get 4 then after adding 2 we get 6 then adding 2 we get 8 then after adding again 2 we got 10 then adding 2 we got 12 then adding 2 we got 14 then by adding 2 we got the answer 16 so this is the correct order so it is called a pattern so students see the next picture in the picture stars are given and some numbers are given in the first star it is 40 second 36 then 32 so what will be the next students yes let's see but first how they had got the answer 36 in the second star yes by doing minus 4 from 40 they got the answer 36 and from number 36 doing minus 4 they got the answer 32 so what will be the next students so students 32 minus 4 so our next answer will be 
and 28 minus 4 our answer will be 24 and from 24 minus 4 our answer will be 20 and from 20 minus 4 our answer is 16 so this is the correct order now students see the next picture first it is given blue color then it is given red then again it is blue then it is red then again it is blue so students what color will be the next yes yes the next color will be red so see over here blue red blue red blue red it is the same pattern so a pattern is something that repeats over and over again it is called a pattern now let's move to the next one see the picture students animals are given two cats then one dog it is there again two cats are there again one dog it is there and then one cat is there so what will be the next picture it will be cat or dog yes it will be cat so we have put it over here cat and students after cat which picture will come yes it will be the picture of dog so we had put it over here the picture of dog so students now see the correct order two cat one dog again two cat one dog again two cat one dog now this is the correct order it is called a pattern let's move further get a pod of lady finger bindi chop it to make a printing stamp dip it in a paint and create your own pattern on a paper with it now students what you have to do you have to take a lady finger and you have to chop it after chopping it you will get a small shape of it so you have to take that small lady finger and you have to put it into the paint you have to dip it into the paint means color and then you have to put it on the paper you will get the picture you will get the picture you will get the stamp of the bindi over there so you have to make your own pattern on the paper let's move further complete the pattern shown in the picture below what we have to do we have to complete the pattern shown in the picture below now the numbers are given over here 2 4 6 then dash it is 10 dash 14 dash and dash so we have to complete it so see first number it is given 2 then it is given 4 then it is given 6 now how you got 4 6 by adding 2 2 after 2 it is added by 2 so it we will get 4 then again after adding 2 we will get 6 then after adding 2 we will get 8 after adding 2 we will get 10 then after adding again 2 we will get 12 then adding after 2 we will get 14 then we will get 16 and the last we will get 18 so by adding 2 we had completed the pattern shown in the picture let's move further observe the patterns given below and fill in the proper letter or number in the each of the empty boxes now we have given the boxes with the letters or with the numbers and we have to complete the empty boxes so in the first one letter it is given so first letter is a second is v third is m again it is continued a v m and again it is continued a v so what will be the next yes m will be the next so we will write m then again we will write a then we will write v then we will write m so now this is the correct pattern now let's see the next one in the next boxes it is given number so let's see one three 
again it is given 1 3 again it is given 1 3 so what will be the next students yes we will write 1 3 again we will write 1 3 so this is our correct pattern now okay students now let's move to the next one again the numbers are given in the box in the first box it is given 1 0 0 in the next box it is given 0 1 0 then it is given 0 0 1 now again it is given 1 0 0 so what will be the next students yes it will be 0 1 0 so now it is our correct pattern now students see the next one complete the following patterns now in the first picture the first figure is given one in second box it is two figures again in the third box it is one again in the fourth box it is two fifth one it is one so what will be in the sixth one yes it will be two so we are going to draw over here two figures so students see the picture in the picture numbers are given so first one is 15 then it is given 20 then 25 then dash 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 then 45 now we have to complete the blank boxes so let's start with the number 15 we are having number 15 by adding 5 we got number 20 after adding 5 again we got the number 25 now after adding 5 we will get number 30 so we will write in the box 30 then after adding 5 we will write 35 after adding 5 we will write 40 and after adding 5 we have already written over there 45 so now this is the correct sequence now students see in the third picture yes in the first figure it is 1 then in the second figure it is 3 then in the third figure it is 5 again in the fourth figure it is 1 in the fifth figure it is 3 then what will be in the sixth figure yes 5 so we are going to draw over here 5 let's move to the fourth picture in the first box it is given 3 stars in the second box it is given two stars and in the third box it is given one star so what will be the next students yes it will be three stars so we are going to draw over here three stars then it will be two then again it will be one this is the correct sequence so students what we have learned in this lesson yes we have learned about pattern how the object figure shapes it is arranged in the proper order it is called a pattern so hope you all have understood this lesson thank you